Hello, I'm Landis, and welcome back to the forest. Well, Sons of the Forest. Same thing. If you've caught this on stream, then welcome to the actual recorded version, uh, where we'll be playing solo. If you haven't, then there's a link to go watch the stream. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Beautiful. And we're back. Hey! Yeah, that's the island we built on in... Um, the stream <laughs> so depending on when you're watching this we should be going live every Friday around midnight UK time uh, to playing multiplayer in the forest this video series remains to be seen when we'll be uh, going Which, sorry I just noticed my camera's going in and out but enough of that we'll deal with technical difficulties later because we're we're changing everything. Things are changing. The way we do things are changing. We'll explain why in a moment. We are... 500 feet below. Challenge accepted. Right, so we've got Fisheye and we got... Kelvin. Who already looks a little... Um, touched, shall we say. 63 years old, Mr. Edward Puffington. 60 years old, Barbara Puffington. And Virginia Puffington. Virginia. So is this before the first game? Interesting. And then these must be the entrances to the bunker because I think you can't see my hand uh, but <laughs> change the screen up when it doesn't help you can see the inlet by the dock closest to the beach where we're looking and that looks like there are three points okay well let's close this let's fight demons I'm not sure I need to check back but the tattoo seems torn. What hits us at this height is the question. And can I see it? Sorry, you hold on, Kel. Wait, I'm not going down in the snow. Um, this looks different. Well, okay. So there are multiple crash sites. And the way you go down is different. Uh, crap. Okay. The reason we're watching this is because we didn't have a crash in the this, this stream. We skipped it to get into the game a bit faster. I was not aware of different... Different crashes, which means different starting locations. Okay. So we made it out. Did we make it out? Or were we too far down? Well, obviously we make it out with the character we're going to be playing. There we go. See, what I can't work out is whether this is me or whether this is Kelvin. Because he gets battered. Interesting, right. I need to change the camera settings. We'll do that in a second. To say, we are using different settings. We are using different everything. Because we have to at this stage. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I'm like a ghost. Emergency. Open an emergency only. Right, hopefully that's fixed my transparency issues. Right, okay. So, it is indeed an emergency. We know how to combine. Yes, thank you for the tutorial. As I say, we've already played this, we know roughly what we're doing. This is not the snow we started in. Which honestly is going to throw my positioning off a little bit. <laughs> Let's quickly get what we can from here. I think in this playthrough, I'm going to play around with some of the mechanics. Probably do a big build. 
probably in the same location as the stream. I want to test the... Well, not only the building mechanics, but also the AI in system. Because I have a funny feeling they've gone a little more in-depth with how the cannibal AI works. Because in the original they had... Um, I hopes of making them interactive based on you. And for the most part, they did a really good job with that. See, I used to think that like, the crash or something somebody did to him caused him to act like an idiot. But we saw in a helicopter, he's acting like that before. Right, follow me. You've got all those bullets and no gun, because you're an empty. Right, let's get back to get yeah, back to having a look around. Oh yes, <laughs> the reason why we're changing things. So I have been told that I am absolutely diabolical. YouTube, not after any tips and help or any sympathy, uh, but that's why we're trying to change things. That's why things are different. Because we're going to make an effort. And that's all the expo dump you're going to get in here. Now we're going to focus entirely. Why the hell somebody wearing the same gear as me is strung up with a skull mask? Being eaten by a seagull. Hmm. Yeah, you've had a bad day as well, haven't you? Can I have your helmet? Oh, come on. Right, let's get this map up. See, I don't know where the hell I am. Wait, this isn't our island, is it? Our beach? No. I'm clear across the other side of the bloody map. Which is annoying, because in my head I'd worked out a route that would make things easier. And sadly, that's not going to be the case. Beautiful food. Ropes are important. There's a lot of shit down here. <laughs> the elusive can opener I couldn't find. There's a lot of shit here. Oysters. Oh, cool. Right, so. First off, that can opener is a win. I wonder if I have to cook them or if I can just eat them. It doesn't say raw. Uh, we're not hungry either way. So. That was not the plan. We can craft three things. A bow. A spear. Right, let's just do the bow. Cause that's probably going to be useful. We're going to try and keep up on the crafting and keep everything we can do. We've got a tarp, so we're in luck. Right, so we're going to make our way downtown. Kelvin does not seem to be following me. Essentially, we're going to make our way through the forest. Oh, that's not Kelvin. We'll pretend that didn't happen. We're going to make our way through the forest to that top purple mark. Because that's there's a camp there. Uh, there's some good stuff there. The axe, the better axe. A better axe is important because we found a few things. Not a cave, but I don't really want to be going into a cave just yet. What I should have done was made a spear, but in fact, we can probably make a spear now, can't we? One it might be two. Spear it is two, and a tape. Yeah, we'll need that for spear fishing. Then we can make a repair tool, so let's get that out of the way. So no rope's hard to come by, but we come across quite a lot at the start, so we'll get some of the shit we need maze sort of immediately out of the way. Okay. Alright, stop playing with your head, mate. Let's go. We got B team. No, oh, please. B team to rescue. Now I'm going to assume excessive logging is going to piss the cannibals off. But also, 
I'm going to be doing a lot of excessive logging, so we're going to have to find a balance where I can get my logs and not piss off the cannibals, if that makes sense. Oh, yes. Now, if I chop you, do I get... I thought I was going to get seeds. Maybe if I chop a full one. No, maybe you can't get blueberry seeds. Or maybe if I eat them, I'll get blueberry seeds. Hmm. Anyway, onwards and upwards and around the bend. Let's try. And not get a seed for eating it. Bullshit. Right, okay, we've not made it very far, but I've filled up on stones and we've got a decent amount of sticks. What else can we make? Don't need another spear. We do not have a skull. Do not have feathers. We need a torch. I don't have any cloth. Okay, so we're done on sticks. Can do anything with the cannon? I can do something. Oh, right, yeah, I can make me cat food. Yum. Scrum diddly umptious. Okay, back to the path. Back to the goal. In fact, I'm going to check out that green thing on the way as well. I can hear footsteps. And I'm not sure if they're Kelvin or not. <laughs> on the plus side, we're getting lots of berries. Those cobwebs freak me out a little bit. Uh, okay, it was not Kelvin. But that's fine. We're good. We're passive. We haven't done anything to aggravate it. Because I don't know if they're skinnies or whatnot. I'll say skinnies. The the feral ones that attack on sight because they're hungry. They look like it. But we don't know how far it goes. There's so many blueberries we've got before. But yeah, we're going to try and not piss off the locals. Because I tell you, playing with other people, trying not to piss off the locals, it's not easy. Oh, he's taking a few hits. Come here, you bitch. Come Ah, oh, run out of stamina. That's unfortunate. He got like three hits on him. Uh. <laughs> no, thank you, please. I don't wish to aggravate them just yet. We let them do what they want to do away from us. We can interact with the other ones that stand upright. Going by the logic of the first game. But we don't want to interact with those buggers. They are not what you would call civilized. Pop a few berries. Maybe if they see me eating the berries, they'll start eating the berries. Yeah, he's following us and just watching us for now. Being a voyeur. So we don't attack the animals. Even though we're running alongside one at full speed. So I don't think we have to worry about... Thing. Yeah. <clears throat> English hard voice croaky. We don't have to worry about things like... Um, disc and pouch and rabbit pouch and all those things. Since we've got a good ruck, ruck, ruck sack. Okay. Oh yeah, one trick I found after stream was that if we zoom in, we get to find the location better. What? Oh, it's a blueberry. It doesn't seem to be doing anything to my health or my water. I mean, food. Okay. So campsite. Well, I've not been in any of these except the one we went in on stream. But the one on stream was helpful and empty. With a key card. Oh, God. I'm kind of hoping we got the same here. Oh, yeah. I forgot the stream recording is... say stream. The video recorder is set at a better, better lighting so you can see what's going on and I can't. It gets really dark. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've done that to me in the first game. Okay, so the cave is empty. Food and dining, okay. 
I think the last one we tried to get into was um, habitation because there was like beds. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> you, my friend, have had better days. Somebody clearly did not like their order. Uh. Thought you might find this interesting. We're calling it Artifact 1. Might be related to that cube you guys found. Oh. HL. Hector Litter. At Sahara Co. To Jackson Palais at Puffin Industries. So Sahara is in the other one. There's a Roomba. Do not leave freezer door open. Can I take the Roomba? I bet I can break it. So I bet I can break it, but I... it didn't seem to break it. I think I knocked it out of this universe. Okay. So it seems like we're pretty safe. Well, that's probably not a good idea. Ooh, what we got? got? Bacon bite, nice. Steak bite, beautiful. So we got some food. <laughs> Arrows. Do not leave freezer open. Fresh until Tuesday. The banana's okay, so it's not been long. But bit of food for tonight's event only. I'd like a screwdriver. I'm going to look very carefully at these shelves to make sure I'm not missing anything. Crunchy one cheese. More bacon bites. And steak bites. Yum, yum, yum. Is that ice cream or ramen? Ramen gets in. Right, so we need to find a kettle. Oh, what munchy munchies. A bowl. Oh, we've got some meat. Well, the meat's not gone off, so it hasn't been long at all. I'm not sure if that makes me feel happier or sad. Okay, so there's just a few bits of food. Ooh. Brain bite. We've got a brain bite. Okay. So not the worst, not the best. A good little place to come for a nice uh, start stash of spoo spood, food. That was not the plan. It also would have been nice if there was a can opener in there, but luckily enough, I don't need it. I mean, it's a kitchen. It would make sense that there'd be a can opener in there. Note to Dev, so we're never going to see this. One thing you can do in the cave is check the time. So it's three o'clock. It's getting close to getting dark. I should be able to get over to the campsite where we can sleep. Out oh, the blues, my walking pants. Because I've noticed now, which I never noticed before, is Kelvin doesn't join us in the caves. See so that green flashing light? We could check out that one. I don't think we can get there and into that purple thing. Because that purple thing is one of our boys. And that boy has had a bit of an accident. We've got to go help him down. Wow. This is a big ass open field. Very big. I mean, you'd have to defend all sides, but it's a good, good flat bit of land. Adjacent to trees. I also still haven't worked out what that little bicep thing is for, what it means. I originally thought it was fatigue, but it does not seem to be the case. 
Maybe it's like a strength stat growth, like they had in the first one. Anyway, I'm rambling, which means I'm going to have to leave a lot more of this in than I intended. But also, can look at that. It's amazing. Okay, we found a cannibal camp. And they're there. So we're just gonna. We're gonna go. Oh god, there's another one. We're just gonna run through. Do absolutely nothing to them. What the hell is that? Oh, that's a. It's a bent over cannibal. Okay. So we're making friends and influencing people. And taking mushrooms that are not good. We know they're not good because we're taught all our life that that colour is not good. And I believe it's called the fly adamantia, which I believe we're also taught is not good. Did that stop Park from eating it? No, but at least we know for a fact it's not good. Yeah, I hear... stuff behind me. Not just that deer. Okay. Four o'clock. Respectfully, realistically, this is where we'll be roughly staying for the evening. I don't know if that white flower is just around a lot more, or if it's just because it's a lot easier to see. Oops, a lot easier to see. Ah. This is not where we're staying. We need a shovel. Oh, Kelvin. Don't start a fight for us. Did not realise that little bugger was that close. Oh, hello, you got a spade? No. Grappling hook vines. Well, realistically, we can get up to our buddy before we have to stay the night. So we're going to go save our buddy. Then hopefully make it to the camp before it gets night time. Then we can make our way down to the other green site, which I don't think that cave up there has got anything useful. Quite a few boxes, but in general not useful. Another bloody skill, there's fucking loads of them. But then saying that, when we were playing multiplayer, Hawks did mention there was a lot of them that I didn't see. So it's possible they stalk the main player or multiplayer. Which I believe it was confirmed that they kind of know where you are at all times. Whether or not they engage is another thing. Because the idea was if you kill the entire group, that stops... Like, uh, stops them coming back. That didn't seem to be the case. Right, now I need to find a way up there. Finding a way down is easier. Yeah, there he is. I'll go help our buddy down. Oh, hi. Uh, that way and that way. Hi. This is our friend, who is conveniently called Virginia, who looks like a really small version of the giant Virginia in the other one. Which I need to go back and now check if her name was Virginia Puffington. Because if it is, and she's the progenitor of that species, then are we in a prequel? Oh, it's nice of him to leave a rope in case I wanted to join him. Uh, coincidentally, I do not. Oh, looks, we got the medicine. Ooh, that'll probably become a bad idea later on in the game. I mean, my health should regenerate anyway, so we'll leave it. Right, so that's him found and his torch. Beautiful. 
Now I want you to be using the lighter, not the torch. The dark. I'm not sure if they need cooking, but the way we're going to find out is by starting a fire at the camp. Hey, she's here. The thing is, I don't want the axe out for her. But we do want the axe out for those guys. Right, so we can get ourselves a nice drink. Let's make ourselves a fire. So that we can try and stay safe throughout the night. Don't need to do the stone, so I don't think we're going to be here long enough. All right, Kelvin's going to have a sit down. We're going to throw our meat on there. Get some leaves so we can kind of try and keep that going. Okay, that confirms we don't need to cook the other stuff. Oh, we don't need to actually set the tent up. I should have done was looted before cooking, but... Okay. Don't react. Can I feed you? No. I would like to just give this to him. I'm not going to be able to sleep with that thing near me, it's a problem. So I don't have any intention of killing it. We're not on our first day. What I'm hoping is it'll get bored and naff off. I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. Energy drink now in three new flavors: thermal, Bizy. bloody banana, and chilling cherry. Flash bloody banana. Bizy. Oh, we go. we're already full. Of so we'll just take those meds anyway. Waste not, want not. A few more leaves so we can try and keep the fire going overnight. And we're gonna go to sleep, I think. Oh, right. This could be a mistake, and could be the end of the playthrough. Yep, something happened. Kelvin. 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 You good? Are you just sleeping? Head back to bed. Okay, then we're not sleeping because that bloody cannibal. That's gonna get on my tits. Well, there's nothing we can do. Looks like I'm sitting here all night. Yeah, it's just not laying asleep. No time has passed. I don't think he sees me. Hi. Time to go, my friend. Go. God damn it! I might kill you just so I can sleep. Go on, get. 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 Go. Go. Peace off. Don't start a fight with me. Come on, Kelvin. It's bedtime. Fire doesn't scare them off. 
Ooh. I don't know what that means. Does that mean he's just going to clear everything? Or Let's find out. Kelvin, clear five meters. Can I sleep while you're clearing? No, you can sleep though, can't you? Uh, go. Go away. Leave me alone. And I'll leave you alone. Where are you taking me, Schmeagle? Looks kind of light, to be fair. <laughs> you got rid of him. Right. We didn't have to kill him. They don't seem to be going off. Interesting. We'll keep them and we'll test it. So first day down, we explored a lot, we got a lot. We haven't really spent anything. Oh yeah, uh, you. You skip, follow me again. I need to be leaving you here. Yes, yes. Right, so we're heading this way. Picking up any plants and stuff on the way. Pretty sure I just saw a couple of cannibals. Um, but yeah, running into the cannibals in the forest, uh, this area, isn't too bad because we don't plan on living up here. So the more sightings of me up here is probably a good thing. But I've also changed my plan. We're heading up this way to that cave. Or was it that lake? I forget. Because there's a slingshot on somebody up there. If I remember correctly. And there was some stuff I wanted to test with the slingshot. I think it's outside a cave. I don't remember if it was where I came from or where we're going. God, there's a lot of them. Just want to make sure we're not followed when we go down to the base. Actually, an interesting point while I remember. You should probably put my better backpack on. Better axe on, even. Beautiful. I think each slot has a certain item that can go in it. Not sure. Still working on exploring that. Right, let's get to that cave. We're closing in on target. Picked up a few more flowers. Not just white ones. Got some yellow and some aloe vera too. Watch a deer. It's interesting how the smaller ones move more like deers than they used to. We're about to find out if I was right. It is by water, so it would be a good indication. That's not right. Don't break the effigies. No, it is right. No, it is not right. Damn it. So it's probably that place we just came from. Damn. I think that might be the cave with the grappling hook in it. It's hard to say. It's been a while since we've um, played it, so I don't really remember. We'll get some water while we're here, just because we can. All right. Ooh. I was going to say onwards, but duct tape and a candy bar. Let's go. Closing in on the final destination before home. Ooh, more aloe. Get in. If I learned anything from the first forest is if you find something like that, stop and check the area. Because there's not normally just one or two, but we're not established yet, so. I also don't think well, don't think. I think the spawning patterns for flowers and that is prob probably similar to the first one. Right, it's just random. Right, so we should lose him in here. Fingers crossed. When we come out, we can make a nice, safe dash to the beach. Yes, this is the one. Okay.
Okay. We'll do that room in a minute. Just got to check what's down here. I don't think there was anything. Just uh, like another key card and some money and stuff. But we'll do it anyway. Wow, my frame's tanked. Yeah, another key card. Key card. Useful. Right, now we go to the other room. Hey, my frames are back. Useful. Right, before we do anything else, which do you make the flask? Take the book, which I'm not sure why that's useful. So, there's loads of arrows here, right? And then there's a bed. Is somebody go around killing these things and is this maybe where they were staying because there was um there was arrows in them and it was arrowed on the printer great too much medicine who would have thunk So how much fuel am I seeing? Um, 400, eh? Kind of useful. So I think that's everything. We could get grappling hooks to make more, but we tend to be doing fine with zip lines. 250, 500. So the sled is useless because it's just the turtle shell. It's a cooler turtle shell. Well, I feel bad because I built it. <laughs> and Hawks really wanted the tech mesh. So we'll get a couple of tech mesh. It's to honour the memory. What do we need to make that? One of those. One of those? Look, and a battery. Well, that's just bloody expensive. And looks like shit. Okay. Well, that's a waste of time. Right, let's make a couple of arrows. Just to use up the last bit of that printer. I don't plan on refueling it. I mean, 50 fuel for 5 hours isn't bad. And that should be the last of it. So where do they... Crossbow. Okay. So I picked out oh, 3D printed arrows. And then we have crafted arrows. Cool. We've got nine mil left. Right. We can head off and start making our base. What is the time? 10.43. So we are not going to have a decent base before we leave. Or before night time. That's fine. We can set up temporary sleeping accommodations. Do we bother with the boat? Um, hard to say. Also, I was thinking of building the house further away, like into the water. That may or may not provide us with some extra protection. It's hard to say. So I don't really need it closer to the water either. Because initially I was thinking if I build it closer to the water, stop. But because of the flask, it's no longer necessary. Save us a little bit of walk every day or two. I think the trees are sparser. Let's at least get the foundation set up before we start heading off to the little raft to get the gun. Because I honestly don't think we're going to need a gun. It's the forest. You don't really need a gun. What we are going to need is lots of leaves and lots of logs. And then I need to work out roughly whereabouts I want to live. I 
just get a few leaves. Nine. Right, that's better. So, hmm. Maybe directly by those two sticks, but further out. Let's get this tree and then we can start thinking about what we're actually going to do. One handed, like a boss. Oh, it's still one handed. Clear the stump, hide the evidence. How will they know? One, two, three, four, five, six, okay. See, we don't want it too far, but we also do want it too far, because we don't want to be encroaching on the path. We also don't know if I can build out here. So if we set the front, this bit seems to be higher. No, give me that back. Let's see. So if we set the front like that. Should clear most of the crap. Could set, set yeah, but, but, but. I could have set Kelvin to get logs, but I don't want him up there logging when there's possible cannibals about. Because we don't want him getting caught. Yeah. The idea is to play around with this building mechanic. How big we go, I don't know. It's a question. We have five. So that's an even number, but then do we need floors? How high can we go? Hmm. Am I far enough off the actual beach, wan beach wandering path? Like, this bit seems to be far enough. Yeah. And then here. Is my house going to be straight? <laughs> that's, that's the question. Is my house going to be straight or is it going to be slanted? Uh, is it going to fall into the water? Is this even how you build a house? This is a lot of interesting questions I don't have the answer for. And quite frankly, we're probably going to have to wait until next time. If you enjoyed this episode, then tick on the like button, perhaps subscribe and check out the rest of the channel. I've been Landis, this has been Sons of the Forest. Thank you very much, and see you soon.